This is Sir Grouch. Look how unimpressed he is. <laughs> Look at how. Just having a nap in your Such hand. Such a well-fed one. Oh, he's just so puffy. Out here in this beautiful grassland, Arizona, friend Aaron Chambers told us we might find some painted grasshoppers out here and also some velvet ants. So scenic. Lots of clouds today, it rained a bit. You can see how moist the soil is around here. And Jesse Green is going to be very very excited when he sees this right here. Painted grasshopper. This just has to be the most beautiful grasshopper in the United States. Those blues, those yellows, those oranges, the blacks, the patterning, the way it looks against the backdrop of the landscape it must be really poisonous because it's just putting on a show all the time. Go for it, man. When I was four years old, my parents got me a book. Uh -huh. National Audubon Society, Field Guide to North American Insects and mm -hmm. Arachnids, right? Mm -hmm. And one of the first things I ever saw in that book was a painted grasshopper. Mm -hmm. And ever since that day, I've always wanted to look for one. I've always tried to find one. I've been down in Arizona before. I've been to Texas, been to Oklahoma, mm -hmm. and never found one until just now. And 30 years. Since I was four years old. 30 years. 30 years. And where is it? Oh. Oh my god. Ugh. Ugh. Wow. Man, it's just so colorful. Wow. So nice. Wow. I have to, I just, I need a moment. <laughs> wow. The most beautiful orthopteran in the United States. It is. There is nothing else like that. Maybe in the world. I mean, you know, there's some great ones out there, but he's hiding right down there. A little smaller than the other one we just saw. Let's get it out there to you. Boink. Oh yeah. I was trying to figure out, I was like, that one's way more colorful than the others. Because. Great way to see the separation of them. Yeah. Yeah. So now we know that these are mature. Like the males might be a little darker. Painted grasshoppers. Jeez. This one is so much more pale than the others. Than that. Yellow and orange. Bud wings. Their wing coloration is very similar to the horse lovers. That fly right there. So many people on Instagram has been the most asked about insect this year, this summer. Spiky legs help them capture prey right out of the air. Along, they steal it from each other too. Facial hair. Bye bye. Oh wow, look at that. Look, there comes the ant. It's 
got a big clump of dirt. Oh, can't make it up. Here he comes again. And back in. Just like that. So that same ant I saw earlier today in the jaws of a Passimacus beetle. Mm. The shirt's cool. It but, is a great shirt. But what, what do you got here? But this is so much cooler. This is Sir Grouch. Look how unimpressed he is. <laughs> Look at how. He's just having a nap in it's your such hand. Such a well-fed one. Oh, he's just so puffy. Hey, did you know that these guys can shoot blood out of their eyes when they get threatened? Actually, I, yeah, I've seen it in like the It's so crazy. Videos. He's not even threatened. He just doesn't even care. Look at that chub. He's like a little disc. <laughs> that is such a cool Oh my gosh. Little joke of a tail. I know. <laughs> Who needs one? Who needs one, right? Huh? Man. He's like, just put me down. Those things don't do well <laughs> in captivity, right? I wish. I wish. They, this is hands this, down my favorite type of lizard for horny sure. toads. They are the best. But no, they do terrible in captivity. Sit around. I've seen them at ant hills just chowing down. Drinking them. I knew one guy in LA mm -hmm. that actually raised these guys once and mm -hmm. I don't even know how he did it but he, he but he said it's like the hardest thing ever to do wow. is to try to take care of these things in captivity but he literally had his own actual like built-in anthills for mm -hmm. that reason just to wow. take care of these guys <laughs>